We have this week's crumble cookies. We have a cookies and cream rice crispy bar, skillet cookie, a sugar cookie, confetti cake, peach cobbler, and chocolate chip. It has some white chocolate chips and Oreo cookie bits in it. 10 out of 10.
Wow, the mousse is so delicious. 10 out of 10 again. Wow, this is so freaking good. Guys, there's sprinkles on top and inside the cookie. And we have the circus cookie. One more bite. This is so good. 11 out of 10. I've never had a peach cookie before, so I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. What the heck? It's a cinnamon oatmeal cookie with peach jam on top and cinnamon flavored frosting. This is definitely my favorite one. 11 out of 10. Always so smooth and airy. 9 out of 10. Always a 10 out of 10. We have this week's crumble cookies. We have banana split, cookies and cream milkshake, a Biscoff cookie, chocolate chip, cowboy, and a chocolate toffee cookie. It literally tastes like a banana split. We have the banana mousse, the chocolate fudge on top, whipped cream, and the cherry. 8.5 out of 10. I didn't expect the texture on this cookie. It's a cold cookie and it's not as chewy. 8 out of 10. I'm so excited for this cookie just because it's Biscoff. This is the cookie of the week. And there's Biscoff inside of it. A 10. We have toasted coconut, pecans, and chocolate chips. 8.5 out of 10. If you like toffee, get this cookie. 9 out of 10. We have this week's crumble cookies. We have a cinnamon roll, chocolate milkshake, coconut cream pie, pink donut, chocolate chip, and a brookie. Guys, I'm gonna start off with this one. It's loaded with coconut filling, topped with whipped cream and toasted coconut shavings. 8.5. Yeah, this one's good. You guys have to get this one. 11 out of 10. Mm. This is so scrumptious. It's covered in chocolate sprinkles all around, chocolate mousse, and whipped cream. 9 out of 10. This reminds me of the Homer Simpson donut. Wish I could taste the strawberry more. 7 out of 10. 9 out of 10. An 11. Trying this week's crumble cookies. We have toffee cake, mint cookies and cream, blueberry pancake, kitchen sink. Are those freaking chips? Ultimate peanut butter, chocolate cookie. It's a spongy chocolate cake topped with caramel sauce and whipped cream with a bunch of toffee pieces. Nine out of 10. This one is a cold cookie. Guys, I'm speechless. I can't. If you want to eat a cookie and brush your teeth at the same time. Let's try that again. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to describe this cookie. I give this Thanos cookie a two. I'm excited for this one. I was a little skeptical with this cookie, but it actually really works. This is definitely a sweet and salty cookie. 9 out of 10. There's also peanut butter inside the cookie. 
reviewing this week's crumble starting off with strawberry milk this cookie is so cute it is chill but let's try it wait that one's actually so good Strawberry milk gets an 8.5 out of 10. Super light. I love the mousse on top. I think it's strawberry mousse. It's a great tasting cookie. Next, let's just get this one out of the way. This is cake batter. And if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest fan of cake batter. But I'm always down to give it a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth try. This cookie looks really good from the outside. But I'm just not so sure. I am hoping I'll be surprised. That one's not the worst cake batter cookie I've had, but I still don't like cake batter. I think it's just like too sugary sweet for me. I like rich sweet things, but when things taste like straight candy in cookie form, I don't love it. I know you're gonna say, oh, these are all full of sugar, which I know, but it's just different, okay? The one I am most excited for, Rocky Road. One sec. I typically don't love nuts and cookies, but that one's good. I love the marshmallow in that one. Love the chocolate chips. The nuts, I'm not fully convinced I love, but it is a good cookie. Eight and a half out of 10 as well. Oh, I forgot to rate this one. I'll give that one a two out of 10 because I will say the texture is good on that one. The classic semi-sweet chocolate chunk. They did forget the sea salt on mine, which you know the sea salt is my favorite part. That's okay. One of my favorite cookies. That one is always perfect dipped in milk. 9 out of 10 just because they forgot the sea salt. Salted caramel cheesecake. Caramel. Caramel. I grew up saying caramel. Don't come for me. Love the texture. Love the flavor. It's kind of mild. It took a second for it to come through. I'm assuming this is cream cheese because it's cheesecakey. But with the salted caramel, it works. A surprising 9 out of 10. I love that cookie. Peanut butter chocolate chip. Without fail, the texture on every single peanut butter cookie is so good. You know what I'm talking about. It's like the crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That's just a good, simple peanut butter cookie. 7 out of 10. Okay, that's it for this week. I may or may not see you next week. Bye! Reviewing this week's crumble cookies. Starting off strong, we've got s'mores. I love s'mores, so I'm so excited to try this one. That couldn't have gone better. Oh, yeah. Oh, this cookie. The ratios of cookie to chocolate to marshmallow. Absolute perfection. Solid 9 out of 10. Strawberry shortcake. Look at that layering. I did not think the strawberries would be that strong. That's a good thing. It is so balanced. I need another bite of that right now. Once again, the perfect ratio. We knew these would be good. Someone tell me why Crumble's cakes are literally better than their cookies. It's so light and fluffy. 10 out of 10. Cornbread is falling apart. I love cornbread. cornbread cookie is always so nostalgic for me growing up my mom would make cornbread like every single sunday and i have never tasted cornbread even close to as good as her until this cookie cornbread cookie 10 out of 10 this is the cake batter cookie it has red white and blue sprinkles for the fourth of july i don't like cake batter cookies so i already know i'm not gonna like this and it's not even that i've already decided but every time i try a cake batter cookie and give it another chance i don't like it we'll try it though mm-mm mm-mm why does it taste like eggnog? I also hate eggnog. That was so weird. I got the biggest taste of eggnog when I bit into that. 
2 out of 10. Last is apple pie. I've heard mixed reviews on this one, so I'll try it for myself. I mean, yeah, it's giving what it's supposed to. I'm not one that loves pies in general, specifically fruit pies. I prefer those cream pies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that one's like a meh for me, maybe 5 out of 10. All right, that is all. I'm so sweetened out, but these cookies were worth it. These all delicious. Let me know which one's your favorite. I'm so curious to know. Bye, guys. Love you. This might be one of the best crumble cookie lineups ever. I swear I was not gonna get crumble this week and then I saw the Mallow sandwich on their menu and I caved. Mallow? Mallow? I'm gonna say Mallow. Let's dive right in. Starting off simple, we've got Nilla Bean Cupcake. I've never had this one before because I typically don't like cream cheese frosting, but it looks and smells so delicious. Let's try it. Nine out of 10 with the milk. It is perfectly baked and a super sweet, but also balanced flavor. Next is strawberry crumb cake. This one is pretty good. I do taste bits of like the freeze dried strawberry and I taste some white chocolate chips. I'll give this one like a six and a half out of 10. Cannot wait any longer. We need to try Malo sandwich. Look at this cookie. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. I could eat this whole thing. Sometimes when I really need a drink, I gulp and I literally cannot help it. Ask anyone. I've done that ever since I was like a little kid. Okay, this one is literally an 11 out of 10. Better than I even thought it would be. I believe this one is Nutella sea salt. I'm gonna take that bite right there. Mm. It honestly takes a second for the Nutella flavor to come through, but once it does, it tastes really good, but it's so pretty mild. It's a good cookie though. This one gets a seven and a half out of 10. Last but not least, cake batter blondie. This one looks so colorful and fun. I knew this going in, but I am just not a cake batter lover or a white chocolate lover for that matter. And this cookie has both. Not my cup of tea, but if you like those flavors, you will love it. For me, it gets like a four out of 10. I'm coming back to this one. We're ending it off strong. this cookie to die for. That's all. Bye guys.
not have to tell me twice. There is cookie dough stuffed inside this cookie. We got Crave. The flavors look absolutely amazing this week. We've got the Cookie Monster. Milk chocolate chips, cookie dough stuffed in the middle, and little chocolate pieces on top. The Twix, the Biscuit Doodle, Key Lime Pie, and the Recess. Let's get into it. Of course, I've got my milk with ice. I don't know what it is about the ice, it just makes it better. Starting off strong with the one I am most excited about, the Biscuit Doodle. This is a snickerdoodle cookie base with Biscoff spread over top and Biscoff cookie crumbles. Sign me up. Let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's breaking. Snickerdoodle and Biscoff is the ultimate combo we did not know we needed. Let's try it in some milk. Mm. No, but this one wins. The cookie base is so soft. It's perfectly moist. You can definitely taste the Biscoff. They had a Biscoff cookie a few weeks back and you could not really taste the Biscoff. You can taste the snickerdoodle and the cinnamon and sugar. The flavors seriously come together perfectly. 10 out of 10. I'd give it an 11 out of 10 if I could. And I can, so that's what we're giving it. Next, let's try key lime pie. Really not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one. I feel like sometimes I don't like key lime pie desserts. This one pretty much tastes exactly how I thought it would. The base of the cookie just tastes really plain. It's really the toppings where you get the key lime flavor. I think they did a good job because it tastes exactly like key lime pie. I used to be more of a fan of key lime pie when I was younger. I don't know, it just doesn't hit the same anymore. For me, just because of my taste preferences, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Time for this guy. My blue hoodie matches this cookie and that makes me so happy. This is the Cookie Monster. I will say I have had this one once before. There was just so much chocolate in it. I feel like it was a chocolate overload. I don't know if I'll feel the same way, but I guess the only way to know is to try it. Okay, so far, this is just a milk chocolate chip cookie. There is cookie dough inside. I can see it right there. I'm gonna break it open and we're gonna take another bite. Okay, that cross section, amazing. I'm gonna take that bite right there, but we're gonna dip it in milk. I did get cookie dough in that bite and I love cookie dough, but I think that one is just a regular milk chocolate chip cookie dyed blue stuffed with cookie dough. I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate chip cookies from like Crumble or Crave or really any cookie place. I prefer semi-sweet. If that one had semi-sweet, it'd be a winner for me. It's still really good though. I'm gonna give that one an eight and a half out of 10. Also do not judge me. I get sweetened out so easily. <laughs> Don't even come for me. McDonald's fries are so good and you know it. The Twix. I'm actually really excited for this one. The cookie feels really soft and it smells amazing. I cannot wait to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot really taste the topping or the caramel, but the cookie base. The cookie base has got me wowing because it reminds me of pie crust, like raw pie crust. It has some saltiness to it, which I actually love. Let's try this one in milk. I will say, to me, that one does not taste anything like a Twix. I can really just taste the base of the cookie. Like I said, it's like a sugar cookie, but it has some saltiness to it. I can't really taste the caramel. I can't really taste the chocolate a ton, but I still think it's a good tasting cookie. I'm gonna give that one an eight out of 10. Okay, we've saved the one that intimidates me for last. This is the recess. Pretty sure this cookie has Butterfinger, Oreos, peanut butter. I don't know what else, but basically packed with a lot of sweetness. I'm gonna cleanse the palate. From my past experiences with these types of cookies, I sometimes feel like there is just too much going on, but only one way to find out. A lot of different flavors going on and I can't really pin it on something. Kind of jumps all over the place. Let's see if it's any better in milk.
definitely a little bit better in milk if you're getting this cookie dip it in milk still a little bit too much going on for me that one i'm gonna give probably like a seven and a half out of ten how about one final bite of the biscuit doodle Super good week at Crave. Let me know which cookie is your favorite if you've already gotten them this week. If you haven't gotten them or if you don't have a Crave by you, let me know which one you think would be your favorite. Love you guys. Bye.
trying Kylie Jenner's crumble cookies. Look how cute her box is. I'm so excited to try these. These are inspired by her new makeup products. This one is called Confetti Cake Batter, Kylie's Pink Sugar, Banana Caramel. This one is Churro Con Leche, Snickerdoodle Cupcake. Lastly, Milk Chocolate Brownie. Mmm, it's not too sweet and I love how there's sprinkles inside. 9 out of 10. I don't know how to describe the frosting, but it's so good. 9 out of 10 again. The frosting's a 10 out of 10 for sure. Guys, I waited 3 hours for this, but it's worth it. 8.5. They were also giving out her new product. Eight point five again. Mmm. I love when cookies taste like this. These were my favorite. Kylie, if you see this, we should film a crumble cookie mukbang together. Trying this week's crumble cookies. First we have the berry trifle cake cup, sugar shark, Reese's peanut butter cookie, confetti cookie, snickerdoodle. Chocolate cookie. Mmm. Have a bite. Guys, honestly, this was so good. So 11 out of 10. This is a vanilla cookie with vanilla frosting and gummies on top. 6 out of 10. Mmm. This might be one of the best peanut butter cookies I've ever had. 10 out of 10. It's a confetti cookie with rainbow sprinkles in it. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Okay, I'm really excited for this cookie because I'm a huge fan of snickerdoodles. I like it, but the frosting is just a little too sweet for me. Chocolate chip cookie is the best cookie, I swear. Look at all of those chunks of chocolate. These two are definitely the winners of the week. We have this week's crumble cookies. We have raspberry lemonade, this beautiful cannoli, cookies and cream, milk chocolate chip, blueberry cheesecake, vanilla crumb cake. Ooh, that's good. The fresh lemon definitely gives it a nice touch. Have a bite. 9.5 out of 10. This is actually two cookies with cannoli filling in it. 8 out of 10. 9.5. This is supposed to be the golden Oreo cookie. 7 out of 10 because it fell apart. Not the biggest fan of the blueberry jam, 7 out of 10. I love this one, oh my gosh. These are definitely the winners of the week. Have a bite. Trying this week's crumble cookies. This one is called strawberry milk. If you're a fan of strawberries, you're gonna like this one. Have a bite. This one's really good, 9.5. This one is the salted caramel cheesecake. Wow, this is really good. It's a graham cracker cookie topped off with cheesecake frosting and caramel drizzle. 10 out of 10 for sure. Next we have cake batter. Everything in this cookie is cake batter flavored. And there's also sprinkles inside. 10 out of 10. Next we have Rocky Road. It looks like there's marshmallows inside of it, so I'm gonna break it. We have this peanut butter chocolate chip flavor. The flavor is flavoring in this one. Honestly, a 10 out of 10 as well. Next we have the OG chocolate chip cookie. This is the winner of the week for sure. 
trying this week's crumble cookies. We have strawberry shortcake, cornbread, apple pie, birthday cake, s'mores. Oh my gosh, it literally tastes like a strawberry milkshake. Have a bite. 11 out of 10. I love how it's shaped like an apple pie. This is absolutely so delicious. I really like the texture of the marshmallows. Guys, this cookie is way too sweet. Oh my goodness. Winners of the week. Crumble cookie review. First off, we have the butter cake. This kind of reminds me of a Twinkie. The texture is definitely like a Twinkie. And the frosting has a nice vanilla taste. 9 out of 10. Peanut butter and jelly. It's a peanut butter cookie with peanut butter frosting and jelly on top. The jam is a bit too sweet for me. 7 out of 10. Chocolate pretzel pie. It's a brownie cookie with pretzels inside of it with a buttercream frosting. The salty and sweet combo is always a hit. 8.5. Next up we have the honey bun. It's a cinnamon cookie with honey butter glaze on top. Lemon cupcake. The white sprinkles really bring it together. Honestly, a 7.5. Lastly, the classic. Ten out of ten. Winners of the week.